YSL came out with their Elixir. I'm really excited for it. I have put it off for quite some time because I was waiting for it to hit discounters and just wait for me to financially recover from all the other fragrances I bought. So we're gonna take a look at this one and get my opinion on it. Lavender in the top, geranium in the mid, and in the base you have frankincense and oud, which is weird. Now I'm not a huge oud fan. I can get by with a few different ouds. It has to be kind of a, like a cleaner oud, but that dark resin, like intense, like knock your you know cat out. It's kind of weird for me. So let's take a look. A lot of people say that this is kind of soapy. It's got like a soapy, clean kind of quality to it. It's been a while since I have bought a Y fragrance and uh, remember how nice the boxes are. Ooh, that is a nice bottle. It's almost like a metallic blue color. You know, these Y bottles are some of the best looking bottles. The quality, the cap, everything about them is just great. All right, I'm gonna put uh, a spray here. Atomizer is nice. All right, so in the air, picking up the oud, definitely. Whoa, okay. This is very interesting. I did not expect this. Uh, okay, so let me try to wrap my head around this. This is very, very interesting. So it has the, the Y style. What comes to mind initially is this uh, molecule called Black Argawood Jivco, and it's a cleaner kind of oud style. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't come across like really pungent, stinky, uh, smoky oud. It comes across as much more of a clean, subdued kind of oud. Pecking up the frankincense a little bit too, this is a much more it's almost like resinous balsamic in the in the base and it's got this on top of all that Y DNA uh, I do pick up a little bit of a smoke like a smoky soapy kind of quality in here it's not screaming off like a bar of soap though the oud in here comes across as a oud that you would find in Tom Ford oud wood toned down to like extreme low levels with sweetness piled on top of it on and there's also some green herbal facets i'm picking up like sage and rosemary that kind of ordeal kind of nice airy clean laundry musk giving it kind of this soap quality uh the oud in here is a clean 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 oud it's like i would associate it like to a black argo wood jivco like that kind of cleanness but it still has a depth to it it's not over clean and uh, this one strays away from the Y DNA a lot this it's very nice I think I'm unsure because it, it has this kind of like weird rubber glove kind of smell to the oud it has this sweet you know aldehydic kind of smell like you would come to find with the Y DNA but it also has this like clean soapy laundry musk kind of quality in here I feel like it's having an identity crisis here just taking it kind of the way it is this one is definitely gonna have to grow on me if I'm gonna like it I'm gonna like it like six months down the road this is not at all what I thought it was gonna be the main thing is it's clean it's aromatic, it's fresh spicy, it's clean laundry musk, but it just doesn't do anything like the why. I wish that they did something different. All right, so in my personal opinion, I would say that it's a six out of 10. Um, but in like a general, like if you're looking at buying this one, if you're looking at, um, you know, going out and, and buying, make sure you try this one first. This is not gonna be for everyone, but um, I would say if it's like, in my personal opinion, six out of 10. But if you're looking at buying this one, maybe a seven because it does smell really good. It's just from a Y flanker, it doesn't really make sense. If you're gonna get a Y, I would say just get the, you know, the Eau de, Tal or the Eau de Parfum Intense is really good if you want like a, you know, nicer, spicier, intense version. But I would say that the Eau de Parfum is excellent and the Le Parfum is also really great. Um, I would recommend these two other than that one. And then the Old Fresh is great too, but this one doesn't really last all that long. Yeah, right now I'm not really, um, <laughs> I can't even speak. It's nice, it's soapy fresh, it's clean, it's air, like airy, light. Um, but this kind of oud character in here is coming across like really weird to me. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up on it on my first impression. I'm gonna be giving this a good solid wear. Make my full assessment like once I have, you know, like six or seven wearings out of it. Then I'll be like, okay, it's not for me. I'm gonna throw it off a bridge. All right, so let me get my thoughts kind of fully clear here. Um, it's very sweet in the opening. 
but it's not as sweet as the Eau de Parfum or the Eau de Parfum Intense. So it's a bit lighter, but it's still sweet. Uh, the Oud is definitely present. It gives it kind of this rubber glove kind of texture in here. You got a nice deep woods from it though, a nice deep woody kind of aroma to the whole thing, but it does have that kind of rubber glove, clean rubber glove kind of smell to the Oud. There's a touch of a like a geranium, rosemary, sage kind of combo in here to give it kind of a green floral touch to it, which is really, really pleasant. I think it does remind me a lot of the YSL DNA done in a much more, I would say Middle Eastern kind of take with the Oud and the frankincense. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, everyone. Have you tried YSL Lixir? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear you, what you have to think about this one. Do you like it? Let me know.